So I picked up from Amazon today the Ampula Bike Tail Light C1 version. Uh, it's uh, October of 2017 right now and I'm excited to put it on my Teo fat bike uh, so that I can be better seen on the road and when you're going at 35 kilometers an hour you tend to want to not take your hand off the handlebars very often to indicate which way you're going uh, because it's a little unsafe going at that speed so I decided to pick this up uh, because it has the left and right indicators plus uh, you can push the button to indicate when you're stopping and it also has um, the strobe light on the, for the rear light as well as laser guides that go along the road so I'm going to empty this up inside is a plastic case that has all the parts and the main unit inside there's the, the actual light itself and you'll see uh, some pictures I took as well I'll include some of those a link to those photos so there's the actual light and inside here is all the stuff for mounting it there's uh, two mounting brackets including the one with the remote there's a USB cable with a micro USB charging port and there's the mount for the for the uh, seat post for the actual light itself some zip ties a couple of rubber mounts so that you can make sure that things don't move the actual remote so there it is there, that's the stop button on the bottom the left and right turn and also the strobe uh, and the extra lighting for the sides of the bike there's also some screws inside that's for mounting all of the items and we've got I assume some instructions for the ampulla light that would be the thank you card please leave us a five-star review it has uh, some basic operations and product info and some installation guide and a cool picture of what it does on the, with the sides and the warranty info and so here's the light itself See if I can get it to stand up for us. That's about as good as I think I'm going to get it. So you use a controller to turn the light on using the center button. And left tur uh, right turn and left turn. And you turn that off just by clicking again. It goes back to red again. And here's the strobe on the top the stop button on the bottom and then this one turns on the side lights which you can't really see right now but when you open it up you can see they are like that and then so you just turn that off they blink as well and then we can turn the whole thing off with the remote again and that worked pretty well I actually I tried it almost halfway across the room and it actually uh, worked I was surprised so that means I can actually mount this to the rear of my bike which I think I'm going to try and do now so I managed to get my new Ampula rear light attached to the bike it took me a while to figure out a way to make it uh, work on the back of my uh, fat bike that I have here, my electric fat bike. And I managed to figure out that if I mount the seat post to my rear rack in a such a way that I basically have a zip tie there in order to make sure it doesn't move around, but the main one is to have a velcro strap that goes all the way around 
and that really actually kind of makes it nice because the charging port is underneath here and so the way I've got it set up is when I need to charge it because it's got the uh, seat post on it I can actually just lift that up there's the charge port right there plug my USB directly into the slot and sure enough now it's charging when I'm done finished charging and I'm ready to leave plug this back up push it down and then if I'm correct in assuming that this is actually going to work is that I can now I'll lift it back up again so you can see I should be able to just power it up however it does not work even if I push it on my handlebar because on the side of it there is a small little power button and so what that does when it's off is you push it once and it actually tells you how much charge you have left it's kind of hard to see at the moment because of the light but it's showing me it's about half charged because that's I haven't charged it fully yet so what you have to do from what I discovered is to get it to sync up to the control which I've actually mounted to my handlebar in a nice fun fancy way that's my e-bike control system on the other side is that basically here you have to push the button and wait till it lights up and then it's going to sync up and if I push the power button on the control and hold it down until it lights up it's going to prove me wrong here Oh, there we go. So I pushed the power button after it, it seems to have synced after a couple of moments after being charged. So keep in mind if you charge it, you do have to kind of resync it to the control uh, buttons at the front. So in essence, I've got my on off, my right turn, my left turn, turn that off, the strobe, and turn off the strobe, and then my side lights which you can sort of see in my garage door at the moment but when you put it down where it should be they are a little bit farther back from the bike but that's okay because it still shows quite well behind the bike to sh indicate where my bike is in terms of the lane and, uh, and even though the video had it more on the sides but I think I kind of like it on the back and of course you can turn those off when you don't need it or you can strobe them and then you can turn off the whole light entirely. So I'm quite happy with this purchase. It's uh, I get to try it out to, uh, to, as it starts to get darker at nighttime. I think it's quite a cool purchase. I'm very happy with it. And uh, I make it sure that I charge it up every night, but I think it'll last two or three days. But you know, that's a good, the best way I could figure to get it mounted to my, my rack at the back rather than at the seat post because my seat post is already full with where I have my water bottle cage so on top of my rack so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll continue to make some more this is my TO fat bike that I bought in Montreal and uh, I love it it's a 750 watt and it goes uh, 40 kilometers an hour if I need it to awesome bike have a good day See you again.